U.S. Senator John Tester will serve a third term in the U.S. Senate. Tester won a back and forth battle with State Auditor Matt Rosendale that lasted overnight. The margin of victory was narrow and has been hovering between 1 and 2 percent since early in the morning. MTN's had a team of co covering this and as on the top of the ballot race. We start with Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison, who was there for Tester's victory speech. Just before 11 a.m. on Wednesday, Senator John Tester appeared before a rowdy crowd of exhausted supporters and told them the good news. Look, we did it. <laughs> the Associated Press had just called the race in Tester's favor, giving him a hard-fought victory over Republican Matt Rosendale and Libertarian Rick Breckenridge. Just like in his two previous victories in 2006 and 2012, it wasn't called until the day after Election Day, and he won with less than 50% of the vote, about 49.6% to be precise, over Rosendale's 47.5%, a 10,000 vote margin by late Wednesday. Rosendale took the lead briefly early Wednesday morning, but a rash of late counted votes from Democratic strongholds like Missoula and Bozeman put Tester over the top. In comments Wednesday, Tester said it was a tough race, but that now it's time to tone down the political differences. We need to get some things done in Washington, D.C. We need to work together. We need to put aside the political pettiness and work together to get things done. And I will tell you why. Because if I has transversed this state, north, south, east, and west, the people I've talked to, the biggest issue they bring up is, why can't you guys work together? Well, we can. And we will. And it will happen because the American people are demanding it. Tester said Tops and his agenda are fixing problems with health care, rural broadband access, and care for veterans. He also noted that President Trump came here four times to campaign against him, but that he'd like the president to come back again and take a good look at the problems facing the state that need to be fixed. As I walk around, you know, there's, there's Democrats, there's Republicans, Libertarians. We agree on a heck of a lot more than we disagree on. So find the areas you agree on and work on them. This race had a lot of firsts for Montana, from four presidential visits to $60 million in campaign spending. But in the end, Tester's victory looked a lot like his first two, eking out a victory with a great on-the-ground effort, some last-day voting, and the strength of his own personality. Reporting from Great Falls, Mike Dennison, MTN News. We're here at the Delta Colonial Hotel in Helena, where Matt Rosendale had his campaign headquarters last night. We haven't heard directly from the state insurance commissioner today, but just after 11.30 this morning, we did receive a statement from his campaign in which he confirmed he was conceding the race to Senator John Tester. He said he had spoken to Senator Tester, that he congratulated him and wished him well. He also thanked his family and all of his supporters and volunteers that have worked on his campaign. And he said that despite the loss, his work for the people of Montana isn't done. He said he's going to continue to advocate for lower health care costs and more health care options in his position as state auditor. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News.